As you know, in star delta starter, we need three contactors, one overload relay, after this one start push button, one stop push button and one timer. If you don't have a timer and you want to make star delta starter without using a timer, then how to make star delta starter, I will explain you in detail. If you want to make star delta starter without using a timer, then we call it semi-automatic star delta starter. In semi-automatic star delta starter, we don't use any timer. So here we have three contactors, one overload relay, one start push button and one stop push button. By using all these, we have to do control wiring to start and stop this motor. This circuit is of star delta starter by using a timer. In this circuit, power wiring is here, control wiring is done here and indication lamp connection is shown here. How this circuit is made? What is the logic behind making this circuit? I have explained everything in detail in this video. At the moment, I delete the timer here and also delete the indication lamp so that it is easy for you to understand. At the moment, we only need three contactors, one main contactor, one star contactor and one delta contactor. After this, I will also delete all the wiring. I am going to explain you in a completely new way how we will do the wiring. So at the moment, we have power wiring here, fuse here, overload relay here, stop push button, start push button, star contactor here, main contactor here and delta contactor here. Now we have to make the circuit using all these electrical devices. So first of all, we have to supply the incoming power supply to the control fuse. After supplying the incoming power supply, power supply will go from the fuse to the overload relay. Then power supply will go from the overload relay to the stop push button. From the stop push button, power supply goes to the start push button. This NC contact of the overload relay which you can see here is of this overload relay. This means that if your overload relay trips for any reason, this NC contact will open. And if it opens, the power supply will break here. Because of this, if your motor is in running condition, it will stop. At the moment, I reset the overload relay. After resetting, we will continue the circuit. In the star delta starter, first of all, we have to turn on the star contactor among these and connect the motor winding in star. If we press the start push button, power supply should go to the star contactor first. So this point here, I will take a wire from the output terminal of the start push button and provide input power supply to the star contactor. At the moment, power supply has come from the fuse to the 95 number terminal of the overload relay. As you can see in the overload relay, there is a 95 number terminal. Then power supply has gone from the 96 number terminal to the stop push button. This is the stop push button. From its output, power supply has gone to the start push button. From output of start push button, power supply will go to the A1 terminal of the contactor. As you can see in this contactor, there is an A1 terminal. We have to provide phase supply to this A1 terminal. This contactor is directly connected to the start push button. So this contactor will become the star contactor. As soon as the winding of the motor is connected to the star, then quickly we have to start the main contactor and provide three phase power supply to the motor. We have to start this main contactor after starting the star contactor. What we will do here is anode contact of the star contactor here. As you can see here, I have the anode contact of the star contactor. The name of the star contactor is KM3. So the name written here is also KM3. This means this NO contact is of the star contactor. Power supply will come through the NO contact of the star contactor to start the main contactor. We can provide power supply from here to start the contactor. Now we have to provide incoming power supply to this NO contact also. Then only the power supply will flow. To provide incoming power supply to this NO contact, what you can do is you can take a wire from the output terminal of the stop push button and you can provide the incoming power supply to this anode contact as you can see here. Now, I start the power supply here. After starting, I turn on the fuse. After turning on the fuse, if I press the start push button, you will see that my motor has started running in the star connection. Now, as soon as I release this, my motor is turned off. When we press the start push button, our motor will run in star connection, but after releasing, our motor is turning off. So even after releasing the start push button, the motor should not turn off and motor should change from the star connection to the delta connection. For this, we have to do wiring here. So what we have to do in wiring is that main contactor here, we will provide power supply through the NO contact of the main contactor to start the delta contactor. I connected this wire directly here. Now this NO contact here, which is of the main contactor, Incoming power supply to this anode contact should go through the output terminal of the stop push button. 
So for the time being, I do the looping of the wire from here so that the power supply that is coming at this point also goes to this point. In this connection, you can see that when the star contactor is turned on, the main contactor will be turned on and as soon as the main contactor is turned on, the delta contactor will also be turned on. This means that all three contactors will be turned on at the same time. So we have to use interlocking in the delta contactor here. We have to use interlocking in such a way that even if the star contactor remain in on condition, the delta contactor does not turn on in this condition. So what we can do for this, NC contact of this star contactor here, like this NC contact, bring this contact and wire connected here, we will remove this. After removing this, this NC contact here, we will provide incoming power supply to this NC contact through NO contact of main contactor. As I told you that this contactor is our star contactor. Now let's assume that this contactor is our main contactor. So the main contactor here, NO contact of this main contactor here, like the terminal number 13 and 14 here is of NO contact. So we will give incoming power supply to NO contact and the power supply will go from its output to the NC contact of the star contactor. This means that the power supply will go here. There is an NC contact down here, so we will give incoming power supply to it. And by taking its output, we will provide incoming power supply to our delta contactor. This means that through the NC contact of the star contactor, the power supply will go to the delta contactor coil. So I have done wiring in the same way here. So through the interlocking contact, the power supply will go to start the delta contactor. So let's check the wiring that we have done so far. If I press the start push button, then you will see that my motor has started running in the star connection. As soon as I release the push button, the motor is turned off here. This means that at the present time, we have to do something so that if we release the start push button, then our motor remains in the on condition. To hold the motor, we make a holding circuit. But at the moment, the starter that we are making is our star delta starter, in which no timer will be used. So in this condition, we cannot make a holding circuit here. We use this star contactor only when we have to start the motor. As soon as our motor starts, we have to turn off the star contactor and start the delta contactor. This means that as long as I press the start push button, till then my star contactor will remain in the on condition. As soon as I release the start push button, suddenly the star contactor will turn off and the delta contactor should start. This is how we have to do the wiring. So what we have to do here is that main contactor and delta contactor here we have to make a holding circuit to hold these two. To make a holding circuit, we will use the NO contact of the main contactor here. There is already NO contact here, so there is no need to use another NO contact. If you want, you can use another NO contact. For now, I will use this NO contact to hold these two contactors. So what I will do here is that simply from the output terminal of the NO contact, take a wire and connect it to the output terminal of the NO contact. So just by looping this wire here, both the contactors will get hold. So let's check this control wiring once. So I turned on the fuse here. After turning on the fuse, if I press the start push button, you will see that my motor started running in the star connection. After releasing this, my motor started running in the delta connection and my star contactor went into off condition. Now if I accidentally press the start push button here, there will be a short circuit. So in order to avoid a short circuit, we have to use protection here. This means that we have to give interlocking of the delta contactor here as well. Let's understand how to give interlocking. So I turn off the power supply here. After turning off the power supply, delta contactor here, NC contact of this, like here is the NC contact of delta contactor. I will connect the NC contact of this to this point. So I will delete this wire which is connected here. After deleting it, I will take the power supply from the output terminal of the start push button and provide the incoming power supply to the NC contact. After this, from output terminal of NC contact, I will take the power supply and provide the power supply to the A1 terminal of the star contactor. So we just have to do this much connection. If we have to run a motor through the star delta starter and that also without using a timer, then what we have to do in this starter is that after turning on the power supply, we have to press the start push button until the RPM of the motor exceeds 80%. This means that if the motor starts, we have to release the start push button in that condition. And as soon as it is released, the motor will start running in the delta connection. 
you can see that the star contactor is off here and the delta contactor is on here. This means that the motor is running in the delta connection at the moment. Now if I press the start push button here, the power supply will not be able to go beyond it, due to which the star contactor will not turn on and there will be no short circuit here. So for our motor, if we have to make a star delta starter without using a timer, then we can do power wiring and control wiring in this way.